Hey everybody, it's Dave with Patriot Laser Engraving. Today I want to talk about how you're going to add fonts to EasyCAD and how you can use those fonts to customize the work that you're doing. It's really straightforward and simple to do. It's just a couple of free font websites. And then further I want to talk about how you can view your fonts and show your customers what their text would look like in the font. You can screen capture that or, or share it any way you like. Before I begin though, I want to thank you all. We just hit 300 subscribers. I, I never got into this project thinking that I would even have that many subscribers and I'm humbled by that and I want to thank you all. And if you would like to continue to see new videos, please continue, continue to let me know what those are. Uh, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe button and, uh, and the ring the bell there so you'll know when, when other videos are published. And I just want to thank you all again. It means a lot to me to hear from you out there in the comments and out in the forums. So thank you very much. And so without further ado, let's get into it. Hey everybody, this is Dave with Patriot Laser Engraving and I'm back. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about how to customize your EasyCAD with some special fonts. Maybe you've got some requests for different fonts or you're just trying to match up a job maybe that your customer has with some specific fonts. So I want to show you how to do that today. So to do that, you have to first know where to go to get some fonts. I like to use a couple of free sites. The, the one that I use mostly here is dafont.com right here at the top. And uh, you just need to go up here and search. You can preview your, your text uh, that you want to type in here. Uh, easy CAD and then we'll just hit submit and you can see it'll actually apply what the font would look like on the website and so you could you have a, a, a whole lot of options that you can choose from sans serif serif you can search for for fonts um, you know we'll just stick to some of the script cal uh, calligraphy fonts and I'll show you how to download those so let's just say hypothetically we we want to have a font we'll just pick this miracle day um, if i pull open easy cad and i look at my fonts you won't see a miracle day font in here we get down to the m's you can tell i have a lot of fonts but miracle day is not there would be in here so you can tell the font is not installed. So what I need to do, I'm going to go ahead and close EasyCAD. I just had that preloaded for the convenience of this video to keep it short and quick. I'm going to now take this Miracle Day font and I'm going to download it. I'm just going to click the download link. All these fonts, by the way, are free. You'll notice that it actually downloads this to my uh, temporary downloads folder. I'm just going to go ahead and right click it and say open. And then it is going to bring the font miracle day dot zip and open it and really I'm interested in this dot TTF which means true type font so all I'm going to do to install this font into Windows is I'm going to right click it and I'm going to say open and now it shows me what the font will look like and then I'm going to click the install button here and it will install the miracle day font and it, it is done and now I'm just I'm simply just going to close all of this and I'm going to minimize uh, the website for the moment and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to launch my EasyCAD in demo mode. Of course you can't find the dog. Alright, so now I'm going to just place some text on here. Miracle Day. I'm going to hit apply, I'm going to hit center and I'm going to just zip down here to the M's and there it appears miracle day and I'm just gonna hit apply and you can see that now that font is in fact on my EasyCAD now remember from a previous lesson you see these upstrokes and the reason why I chose this font for this video was because I wanted to reinforce a little bit about the video about how you can use the plastic tool I can't stress how important that is because when you start getting into handwriting scripts and other fonts that have overlapping you're going to want to do this so the just to recap that video all we're going to do is we're going to select edit and ungroup text and then now you'll notice each of these letters has been split into its own particular letters and I'm just going to leave that selected I'm going to come up here to modify plastic 
and I'm going to leave the weld on. I'm going to hit weld and I'm just going to click anywhere on the text and now I'm going to click off from the text and you'll notice that it is now all molded together the way it should be and then if I hatch that out now you'll see that it'll actually look the way it should. So that's how you get a font into EasyCAD. Really straightforward and basic and it's super easy. The other thing I wanted to talk about was well how do you show or how do you see all of your fonts on your uh, on your system? It doesn't have to be in EasyCAD but just on Windows in general. Well there's a utility called Print My Fonts and I'll load that up right here for you to see it. And this is a free download and I'll show you on the website where this is located. But the beautiful thing about it is you can create a list of fonts that you might want your, your customers to see. Like I may not want them to see this, this text, so I could right click it. I could right click and select remove from selecting it removes it. But let's say I want to just do some, some text and I'm going to call it Patriot Engraving. And now I can see what my text is. I know, I know exactly the font that, I'm, that, it's, that it's calling for. Like this one up here, number one, is the Winchester font. I can I can also go into my settings, and I can cr I can change my font size. You know, maybe I can make it 30 or 60. You know, you can increase or decrease uh, the size of the font depending on how you want to do it. There's also some filters you can apply. You can say only show me the bold fonts, only show me the italic fonts, and so on and so forth. Um, you can take away the serif just do sans serif get rid of others there's a multitude of different options that you can pick I usually leave them all on to be quite fair um, because I'm, I'm looking for all the options that I might have available to me and then I can see you know okay that's this is really Winchester but I can see it in italics and italics bold and bold and you know it does make scrolling through these pretty long as far as a process is concerned um, but I definitely like to see my options you may have other preferences uh, but the, this tool is really nice and you can even print uh, you can even export this as a PDF uh, or you can print it rather as a PDF and you can save that out so a lot of times what I would do is I might just pick out all of my script fonts and then I would save out uh, a PDF document of just my scripts and then if somebody wants well what kind of fonts do you have well then I just say well if you're looking for a script here's the list of fonts that I have so where do you get this utility well it's just do a Google for it actually but if you go to sttmedia.com this is one of their their f free downloads that they have and it's called print my fonts um, I love this piece of software that it's helped me out tremendously when I'm looking for a font. So hopefully that will, and it also is available for Mac, though you wouldn't be always using EasyCAD on a Mac. But anyway, so that's where you get this tool from, and dafont.com is the place to get the uh, to get the fonts from. That's one of them. There's you can Google free TrueType fonts on the internet if you like. Uh, I have ten. I have tended to find everything I was looking for right here at this website. Uh, they're very, very uh, robust in what they have. If you can't find it here, you probably won't find it. So anyways, that's it. Uh, getting into EasyCAD is really straightforward and simple. And creating your, your custom fonts, that's how you do it, folks. So this is Dave with Patriot Laser Engraving. Again, like, share, and subscribe. Ring the bell. And thank you for everything. And as always, have a great day.